Hello guys and welcome. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to record both your screen and audio with QuickTime uh, on Mac. So, as most of you probably know, any modern Mac allows you to record your screen using QuickTime. So what we have to do is click on QuickTime, go to File, and then New Screen Recording. I'm actually recording uh, with QuickTime at the moment, so I can't really show you it, but I will put up a screenshot of what it should look like uh, now. Ignore the two Soundflower options, we'll get onto them later, but at the moment you'll just have two options. And unfortunately, although it allows you to record the screen, it doesn't allow you to record the audio at the same time that's coming out of the screen. Um, so to do that, all you have to do is go on Safari and then click on, uh, no, type in Soundflower Download, Download, uh, click on that, and then it should be the first option here. Click on this and then click Free Download here. And then if you don't want to sign in with any of these two, just click alternative download and it will start downloading straight away. Uh, once it's downloaded, um, obviously just do the installation process. Uh, I've already installed it so I can't really show you that, but just do the installation process and open it up. And if you do get a message, you may get a message saying um, we can't open this because um, because it's, it's not a recognized developer. Just go to security and privacy and then um, it should come up with a message saying you've tried to open Soundflower. Can, do you want to allow this? Just click yes, and then it should open up. Um, once you've done that, um, if you go back to QuickTime, File, um, New Screen Recording, it should come up with the two options uh, of Soundflower 2CH and Soundflower 64CH, I think it is. Um, yeah, it'll come up with those two options, so just select Soundflower 2CH, and don't, you can't, don't record yet. Um, next, you want to go to System Preferences. Um, go to sound and then go to output and change from headphones to Soundflower 2CH. Leave everything else the same, leave input, sound effects all the same. The only thing you want to change is, is the output from headphones to Soundflower 2CH. Now once you've done that, you're ready to record. So go back to QuickTime, make sure it's on Soundflower 2CH and click the screen record. So as you can, we'll test it now. If we go on to say just a random, random YouTube video, um, the untold truth of Pimp My Ride, sure, let's have a, have a gander at this, whatever it is, and as you can see, you can hear the audio, which Pimp is, My which Ride is fans so, may believe the MTV we fixed the problem, but as you can probably tell if you've tried it yourself, or if you're trying it yourself, um, you won't be able to hear the audio when you're actually recording, so when you play it back, you can hear the audio, but at the time, you won't be able to hear the audio, um, so... Yeah, just, just bear that in mind if, if you're wondering why it's not working. You won't be able to actually hear the audio when you're recording it. So, um, once you've done that, once you finish your recording, close that and then obviously go right click and then stop recording. I'm not going to stop that because it will stop my recording. But once you've done that, it will open up and um, you can click play and you still won't be able to hear the audio. That's because, again, the sound settings are still on Soundflower because what that does, it just reroutes everything to the Soundflower and it will um, cancel out your headphones. So to get to hear audio again, just go back to sound and then click it back to headphones and then you'll play your recording and you should be able to hear the audio that you recorded with your screen. So there we go, that's how that's how you record both screen and audio with QuickTime. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you found it helpful, please be sure to let me know in the comments, uh, leave the video a like and I'll see you guys in the next video.